MSNBC. It's believed by many to be the most liberal of all cable networks. MSNBC, pro Obama. It is clear that it matches what he said about that issue at the very start of his presidency. Pro union. The conservative right in this country, they say you're nothing but a bunch of preloaders. Yeah. That's what they say. And also, unmistakably, pro war. Blogger, filmmaker, and former journalist Danny Schechter says television makes war possible. We couldn't have wars in America if TV networks didn't glorify them in some way and make them exciting and give action-oriented coverage, what I call militainment. Iraq. Dead, dead. Dead. Afghanistan. And now... Yes, the U.S. involvement in Libya. Let's get it done. Let's arm these rebels. Let's give them a chance to fight. A sentiment also supported by MSNBC's most liberal talk show hosts, Rachel Maddow and Lawrence O'Donnell. It seems to me there's a practical, war-making, tactical uh, success that they believe they could have in this particular country. Exactly. He kept describing himself as sort of acutely aware of the risks and the costs of America doing any sort of military intervention. And so you're exactly right. I think we have to do it. It is a moral decision at this point. You... So you might be thinking, well, that's just because the U.S. involvement in Libya falls under a Democratic president. But as it turns out, MSNBC has had a long-standing love affair with war. Remember Ashley Banfield? Oh, my God. Look behind us, please. She became a star reporter covering the World Trade Center attacks. But in 2003, oh she made a speech at Kansas State University just as the war in Iraq was getting started. She said about the coverage, What didn't you see? You didn't see where those bullets landed. You didn't see what happened when the mortar landed. A puff of smoke is not what a mortar looks like when it explodes, believe me. There are horrors that were completely left out of this war. MSNBC refused to let her out of her contract, but kept her off air, thus muzzling her. It happened, too, with former independent governor Jesse Ventura. CNN, MSNBC, and Fox got in a bidding war for me. MSNBC won. Then a phone call asking if it was true that he didn't support the war in Iraq. Well, it turned out they wouldn't put me on the air. They paid me for all three years. They pulled my show, and I sat and collected paychecks, and I couldn't say anything because my contract said I couldn't do any cable nor any news shows for three years. So, too, did Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Peter Arnett after giving this interview on Iraqi TV. America is reappraising the battlefield, delaying the war maybe a week. And, and rewriting the war plan. The first war plan has failed because of Iraqi resistance. When MSNBC was still up and coming, its highest rated show was hosted by this man, Phil Donahue, an outspoken critic of the war. Hey, you, know, you know, we're all now, everybody's righteous. What a terrible Hitler this is. We were mute when he was doing that. He was our SOB. I mean, Absolutely. And now and we're sending our well, sons and daughters I... to war to fix that mistake. So it doesn't was... seem fair to me. That show was canceled a few weeks before the war started. Phil Donahue was an anti-war voice on MSNBC, one of the cable news channels. And a memo that was leaked as the Donahue show was canceled is very explicit. It said, we don't want this to be a face of NBC as the United States goes into war. Looks like to stay on board, you need to sound more like this. Look, I am a liberal, I am a progressive, but that means that we need to stand behind people who want freedom. This isn't Bush talk. This is totally different from Iraq. It's totally different from any other situation. Christine Frizzell, RT.